This video will cover the five key elements for using a lectern at Macquarie. Lectern activation, selecting a source, selecting a destination, microphones, recordings. Lecterns at Macquarie can be activated in one of two ways. Either press the start button on the newer lecterns or swipe your campus card over the swipe card reader. The card reader may be located on the side of the lectern or under the touchscreen. Each press of the start button or swipe of the card will enable the lectern for one and a half hours, up to a maximum of four and a half hours. Extra lectern time may be added at any time. The first step to displaying content is selecting the source or what you want to display. All possible sources will be displayed either down the left-hand side of the touchscreen or across the top of the touchscreen. All classroom lecterns will have a resident computer and a VGA laptop connection. Some rooms will also feature an HDMI connection. Most lecterns also have a visualizer available. For a full list of equipment that is available in each room, please check the AVTS facilities in rooms list. Select your required source by pressing the button on the touch panel. In this example, we have selected computers. The next step is to select the destination or where you want to display your content. To select your content on the lectern's monitor, press the preview button. If nothing is displayed on your monitor, check your selected source has been properly turned on. Once you are happy with your previewed content, press the project button. The projector may take a short time to warm up. Please be patient. In venues with more than one projector, the project button may be labeled differently, but can be identified by the projector icon. When using the lecterns at Macquarie, you may come across several different styles of microphone. The first type is the lectern mic. This is good for when you intend to stay behind the lectern. The second type is the wireless lapel mic. This is good for when you need more freedom to move around the lecture venue. The transmitter can be found in the charger mounted in the pull-out keyboard drawer or the charger found on top of the lectern. The transmitter should be clipped to your belt and the microphone clipped to your shirt. Having the mic in a position towards the centre and close to the base of your collarbone will generally work best. When you're finished, please return the mic to the charger. The status lights will turn on, indicating the mic is properly seated. All timetabled lectures and seminars are automatically scheduled for recording on the Echo 360 Active Learning Platform, and some may also be live streamed. Content projected from any computer source or the visualizer will be captured, along with the audio. In venues with more than one projector, the projection that is being captured will be indicated by a capture button with the echo icon on it. Make sure that the content you want recorded is being displayed on this projector. It is good practice to make sure that nothing is muted via the touchscreen before you start your lecture. In particular, check the record mute, record pause button. The previous lecturer may have enabled it at the end of their lecture. For more information, please visit the AVTS and Learning Technologies websites or call AVTS on extension 7571.